It's Beer O'Clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Northern Monk Brewing Company and it's a can of their Faith Hazy Pale Ale coming in at 5.4% ABV in a 330 milliliter can. It's another, another, yet another new beer in Tesco that's been launched as of kind of towards the end of April 2020. Let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. I've been very impressed with this launch into Tesco this time around. They've really upped their game. They've really put in some quite fantastic craft beers. So we have a four finger white head, nice hazy straw colored pale ale, exactly what you would expect. Um, slow moving carbonation rolling up the glass. Looks good. I was a big fan of the peanut butter jelly. Time the Stars and Stripes beer from Northern Monk that was recently launched into Tesco for £3. Oh, by the way, these cans, these 330 milliliter cans, the smaller cans, are three for £5, which is fantastic. What a fantastic price. Three for £5. Right, let's get the aroma on this hazy looking pale ale. Yeah, lovely. Just a zestiness. You get a little bit of light malt aroma with a kind of an orange, lemon, grapefruit zestiness. It smells fantastic, it really does. Just kind of light and airy and like you just want to I just want to turn the camera off and kind of just walk off with it and go in the garden and sit in the garden with it in, in, in the nice sunshine. It's just that kind of, it just puts you in that mood, in that kind of frame of mind. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. That's lovely. Lovely mouth puckering fresh fresh stroke refreshing drinkable pale ale this very much reminds me of the northern monk of old the blue can they're, they're stable ipa what's their staple Oh, you see it in supermarkets. Um, it's in a blue can, Northern Monk's Core IPA. It's out all year round. This kind of reminds me of that. Nice little bit of bitterness on the back end. A little bit of sweetness to begin with. Grapefruit, orange peel, fleshy blood orange flavors coming through. Oh, comment in the comments box. Let me know that the blue can, the Northern Monk, the 330 milliliter blue can of beer, which you find in most supermarkets now. Kind of reminds me of that because the first time I tried that beer, I was actually at Northern Monk. I brewed a collaboration with Northern Monk and we brewed a custard cream pale ale, which is fantastic, as part of the first ever Hop City. And it was called Hopulous Luminous. 2015, 2016, I think I've lost it by, I missed a year somewhere. Very vague today, aren't I? Very vague. Can't remember the year of when we brewed um, the custard cream pale ale and I can't remember the, the blue core range can from Northern Monk, but never mind, I'm sure you'll let me know all of these different things in the comments box. Right, Faith Hazy Pale Ale, we've got to have Faith. Brewed in the North with Brian Dixon. Described as an affable and vaguely eccentric brewing wizard in oversized wellies. Met Brian, I'm sure I met Brian. Um, hey, up, we're not a monk. Uh, a few years ago, we set out to brew some of the best beer in the world from a damp cellar in the north. Brilliant. Uh, we didn't have much, but with the support of friends, family, and a £5,000 gift from my grandparents, We've come a long way. A lasting commitment to creating the best beer experiences we can whilst working with the community around us 
continues to drive us forward. That's a lovely little message and fresh from the north on the top of the can. So uh, they're based in the old flax store, Marshalls Mill, Holbeck in Leeds. If you're from that area or you you can get to Leeds quite accessibly, go there, preferably on the weekend and preferably when there's no lockdown and and have a drink and maybe have something to eat at the flax store at Northern Monk they, where they'll probably serve you some fresh Northern Monk beer. Uh, I've been there, it's fantastic. The brewery is next door to the flax store. Great place. Yeah, this is just a nice quaffable hazy pale ale. And it's it's nice and simple. Nice and simple, nice and easy. I much prefer, I've mentioned it before, I much prefer a beer that's been flavoured, these orange and lemon and grapefruit flavours. It's been, it's been flavoured with hops. Um, I much prefer that over over juicy flavoured kind of ice cream concentrate flavours of, of, of mango and oh, what's the other flavours? Pineapple concentrate and stuff. I, I'm not really a fan of that. This is more up my street. So I'm talking to you Tropical World. I did a review of the Tesco, the Tropical World three pound can and it wasn't quite for me. It wasn't quite for me. This is much more up my street. The tropical world was brewed with concentrates. This is brewed with hops. Much more, do I dare use the word traditional? I'm gonna rate it. I really like it. It's held its head very well. A little bit of lacing on the glass. Nice levels of carbonation, nice bit of haze in there. If you're new to craft beer, um, I would highly recommend this. If you're getting into craft beer or if, or if somebody's told you about this range in Tesco or, or just craft beer in general and you want to try it, then this would be a really good starting point. It's refreshing, it's drinkable, it's a nice slightly creamy mouthfeel to it. It's really lovely and hoppy. A perfect, perfect kind of gateway beer into the wonderful world of craft beer. I like that enough to give it an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!